Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can pass the parameter with the get API, right? And after just completing this thing, we will also see that how we can make this parameter optional as well, right? And these are the points of the video. First of all, we will see how we can pass the parameter with the routing, conditional routing as well as conditional result. And I will also tell you what is the other option to just, uh, if you don't, don't want to make the conditional th things like this. And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question on the comment box also. Now, this is the result of the previous API. So here you can see that uh, on a list hit, we can just get the result of from the old data, right? So we just created this API in the previous video. Link is given in the description box if you want to watch this video. Now, uh, let's say I just want to pass here ID like uh, three, and I just want to get the data only for the specific id then how we can get it for that we need to pass this id in the url right and now let's see how we can do it but for a moment if you just want to try to pass it it will just give a 404 to us right which is uh, because uh, laravel did not understand that how i can handle it so let's uh, just implement it first of all let's pass the id here and just get this id in our uh, uh, controller function and let's use here find function right just put here dollar id now we will get the data on the behalf of id you can see that right and uh, let's say try to fetch the data for id 4 working fine for the id 1 working fine that's great now what i want that if i just pass this parameter then it will just give the result according to the id otherwise it need to uh, uh, return all the data but if I am just going to remove it, it will just give a 404 because till now this parameter is not optional, right? So how we can make it optional for that? You need to go in the api.php again and let's put a question mark here and this question mark will make it optional. And uh, for that, we need to just produce the optional result also how we can produce the optional result. First thing is that let's see if uh, we are not getting anything in the ID, then it should be null by default right uh, we can use it like this and now let's see if we have some result in the id uh, let's say one two or three four five anything then it will just find only one result else colon it will just use here device colon colon all right if uh, there is a no parameter then it will give the all result so now let's see how it's actually working it's it is just giving the one result and if i'm just going to remove it it will give the all result right and if i just put here four then it will just give the one result so that way with that way we can just make it a optional uh, parameter also so let's say you, you just don't want to make it optional then because you think this is a little bit complicated then what we can do for that case you can make another function like uh, just it you can just use here list with the params right and uh, let's make it uh, core like this and here you can just uh, use here you don't need to put here conditions because now we have specifically making the route for this right and uh, now let's just make the two urls like this and uh, in the second case, let's just get it the list params function. And now try it. This is still working fine. And this is still working fine. But this is not a recommended way because we need to add the extra param uh, routing as well as the extra function. So this is not the recommended way, right? So let's make it undo the old code and just undo the route also. Right. This is the only recommended way and this is you can say that the standard when we are just getting the data from any user or any device or from any kind of list. This is basically a uh, standard way to just get the data. Right. So I hope you just got the complete uh, solution that how we can just use the alternative option as well as the recommended option. And if you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. All right. So now it's time to question. 
so my question is uh, now you you just seen that uh, we only pass the id in this uh, get method so let's say we just want to use the name and member id or something else right as in parameter then how we can get it right you can comment this answer in the comment box if you want then if you don't want and you don't know the answer then please read about it because this is a very important in case of interview right so bye bye god bless you